YouTube Stories are a new way to help you grow. It's like TikTok on YouTube. Short form content, max 15 seconds for videos or photos that you share with your fans on your mobile device when you're on the go in between your regular videos. They do not affect your discoverability of your regular videos, meaning they won't compete for views. It's just a brand new way that YouTube created to engage with your fans. You can see YouTube Stories in the Videos tab of YouTube Studio. There's a Stories section right next to Live. I've created two stories here. You also see the comments that your fans leave in your Stories in the Comments tab. You see here it says Story and another Story. These two comments are on my first two Stories. You will not see Stories on the website. It's a mobile-only experience. And I'll turn off my chroma key so I can show it to you on my mobile device, how it looks. So you go to your channel and then along the top here, you have all of your tabs. You go to the stories tab. It's actually not very focused, but you have to do that. Visit your channel on your mobile device to see your stories and your audience has to as well. How do you create these stories? Again, sign into YouTube on mobile. Oh, I need to turn my green screen back on. But um, oh, click that video where I show you my green screen settings in OBS. That is yesterday's video. Click that eye and you'll see how I create this green screen effect. Then once you've signed into YouTube on mobile, click your camera icon in the top right corner and then click story. If you don't see it, you have to remember this is currently in beta and you need at least 10,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel in order to get YouTube stories and it may take up to four weeks for stories to show up after reaching that 10k milestone. So if you have stories, record your story. You can upload a photo, take a photo or a photo from your phone or create a video but max 15 seconds and then your fans will see it in their feed and they can also go to the stories tab on your mobile YouTube channel to watch your stories. It's a pretty cool concept. I love how YouTube is trying to integrate short form content together with long form content. Oh, and the link to this YouTube help article behind me is down there in the description below if you want to read the whole thing about how you can add stickers, reply to comments, and anything else that you might want to know about YouTube stories. I will be using these and I'd love for you to give it a try on your mobile phone and leave some comments yourself on my stories so we can all help each other grow together as a family. Do you use YouTube stories on your channel? Tell me down there in the comments below what your experience has been. Does it help you? Do you find you gain more subscribers if you regularly post new stories on your mobile phone when you're out and on the go. I'd love to know so we can all help each other grow. Now oh, that's a lot of rhyming. I'm a poet, didn't even know it. All right, let's now read some of your deserving comments, Freedom Family. Starting with Susha Sings, who wrote, if I re-upload my YouTube videos to my Facebook channel, people will be able to see the full video on Facebook without having to go to YouTube. How would this increase YouTube views then. As I replied to Susha, the point is not to increase your YouTube views by re-uploading the Facebook. The point is to build your bl brand bland, on Facebook, a huge platform that has amazing reach. Look, people who like Facebook will not go to YouTube. You will never convince them to change their habits. What you can do is upload on the platform they're always going to stay on, on Facebook. That's how you build your audience. Yes, you have to do twice the work, upload your videos, but you'll get twice the reward. Look, on my Facebook page, I have 197 views on my last video, The Perfect Green Screen. On my YouTube channel, for that exact same video, I have 222 views. It's almost twice as many views as on YouTube. Of course I want to double my views if I upload my videos to Facebook and you have to upload to a Facebook page, not your Facebook profile. Click that eye to see the video that I made talking all about how to get 40% more views to your videos by re-uploading to Facebook all the things you should do and shouldn't do. Great comment, Susha Sings. Now let's check out your channel and give you a shout out because this is how we read comments nowadays. 
You have 333 subscribers. Let's have a look at your videos. I bet you are a karaoke singing channel. Let's have a look. Roll it! So it is music. That sounds like that's you. To check out Susha Sings, the link is down there in the description below. Camelot331 said, YouTube will no longer verify creators. He said they won't be considering doing so again for users until October. But we can verify creators. We verified eight of you recently. Click that eye to see the video where I talk about the verification badge and how freedom can help any creator with 100k plus subscribers get verified. I replied to Camelot, as you can see, we can get creators verified. I'm surprised YouTube will not verify you directly. So why not join Freedom so we can help you? Just email support at freedom.tm and sign up on our website to get started. Now let's check out your channel, Camelot331. I bet you have over 100k subscribers, and you do, 115k. McDonald's is a nightmare. Okay, well check out that video, but it looks like you are a vlogging video. Let's. Play your trailer. Camelot331 here, and today we're going to talk about a new group of people. And who are they? They slave away every day to make you Mick happy. But has anyone <laughs> asked them? Let's skip ahead a little bit. I would probably cry uncontrollably as well. It's kind of a good metaphor of my life. A chunky poo slide. <laughs> A chunky poo slide. That's at 1 minute 49 seconds. If you want to check out the chunky poo slide, the link is down there in the description below to Camelot331. Ninja Joe 10 wrote, I think I know the theme I would like to show on my second time on The George Show, showing how I record my videos with some edits to make the videos more entertaining. I encourage Ninja Joe to host The George Show again. Didn't know he hosted the show? Click that eye to see his first attempt at being George on The George Show. Do you want to host The George Show with tips to help others grow? Send your videos to support at freedom.tm with an email saying, I am here for George's audition for The George Show. And I will pick deserving videos and feature them and let you host the show for an episode if you have a good tip in your video. Quintus Minimus wrote, Hey George, did you end up making it to the mall in time? Find out in the next episode of The George Show. Well, in this episode, we find out I did make it to the mall in time. Last time I was in a rush, I didn't read any of your comments because I was going to Waitrose before it closed at 10 p.m. here in Dubai. I made it at like nine minutes and 59 seconds. I got into the mall just as they were closing so I could buy my milk, my cookies, and my cereal. No, I did buy some milk, but I bought some uh, pomegranate jewels, which is my favorite snack. I don't have any around me, otherwise I'll show you. And I bought some uh, yogurt and some drinks for the kids. Speaking of the kids, there's one of them right now behind me. Hi, Abby. How are you doing? Are you here to leave a comment? I don't think she has any idea what I'm talking about. We're reading comments, Abby, from my videos so that uh, we're engaging with our audience. Yes, I'm talking about uh, my trip to the mall with you right after my video yesterday. All right, Freedom Family, I think we're going to have to end it here. You can see my green screen is breaking up here on Abby's hair. I didn't uh, calibrate it for her hair. Who am I? I am your Papa George, who made it to the mall in time. Your George Sunpai, your Obi-Wan George Nobi, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom family, has given me. And there's some vacuuming going on in the background. I apologize for that. Abby, you didn't close the door, so the vacuuming is now coming through on the George Show. We don't want to have the vacuuming show. Yes, you can hear the vacuuming when I stop talking. That's why I'm talking louder, so you don't hear the vacuuming over my voice. Can you close the door? I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom! Who's We're having some fun with you in this episode, Freedom Who's Family. I hope you enjoy that. And now Abby's going to be talking about something else. Susan is the CEO of YouTube. She is Susan Wojcicki, 
I know that's the correct way to pronounce her name because I watched her video explaining how to pronounce her name correctly. Susan Wojcicki. She's Polish. Uh, yes, Abby, that's because, as I said, my green screen isn't set up for your hair. It's set up for my beautiful hair, not your long and uh, messy hair. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. All right. Where are we going with this episode? This is not helping YouTubers grow. It's just bantering with my daughter. No, but, but like, I already made a video, but you didn't edit yet. Yes, my daughter made a Roblox video, and I need to edit it with her because she doesn't know how to edit her own videos yet. How come you don't know how to edit your videos yet? I know how to edit What editing tools do you use, Freedom Family, and what do you recommend for Avi? for her gameplay videos. I use Adobe Premiere. Abby, Look, don't put this? that in the screen. That? Yes, that's an imperfection in my green screen, but it's hidden because it's off the screen. What video editing programs do you recommend for Abby? What, rec what video programs do you use? I use Adobe Premiere, but I'd like to start using DaVinci Resolve 16 because it's the best in class free video editor as far as I've been told. There's also Lightworks, there's also HitFilm Express, and uh, Sony Vegas, and many other uh, video editing tools, even iMovie, that I'm sure many of you use, but I'm curious uh, what you use and how you like your video editor. All right, Freedom Family, I think that's enough banter. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Gong that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. He didn't reply. You Abby, didn't reply. I reply to every comment you as did I see not it. Reply. That's because Ninja Joe replied. I don't need a reply to a reply, Avi. No, you do. All right, Freedom Family. Until the next episode, because this is getting a little silly, but it's fun. Keep safe. I am George, and you've been watching The George Show. Ooh, you dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.